Good day on Monday. No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, July 5th. Hopefully everyone had a good 4th of July uh, weekend and we're looking again at the Northeast. Um, the area in the Northeast. The ocean conditions from sea surface temperature and ocean color chlorophyll data to get an idea of how things are looking, how things are changing, what the main features are. Um, you know, the red and the yellow and oranges are your warmer water and then your greener blue colors are your, are your cooler water. So what we noticed, this is mostly data from yesterday. Um, the Gulf Stream's up to 84 almost now. What we, I have not heard if there was a lot of blue marlin caught at all for the 4th of July um, tournament. I, I imagine probably not. I know there's not a whole lot of marlin, you know, north of uh, Virginia here yet, but there, the water is warming up. So now we have water that is in your mid to upper 70s down off of Virginia and uh, Maryland. And now you have, you know, 71, 72, 73 degrees off of New Jersey and then off of Long Island and, and Massachusetts down here in shore. That, that water is almost up to 70. So it's like 68, 69, 70 degrees. And what, I've, what we noticed now is there is a couple nice filaments off of, uh, off of Virginia here, southern, um, southern Maryland. There's a, we continue to follow a clockwise eddy that's off of Washington Canyon. There's another eddy right below it rotating that's keeping these, this filament water kind of far inshore. I mean, we're talking 1,000 fathoms, 1,100 fathoms. Um, there is a, another eddy, clockwise eddy that is off of uh, Baltimore Canyon area. This is bringing in some decent water. Looks like Baltimore Canyon. And up north here, there's a, also another, I think, eddy up here. I believe this water's moving down. And we have a couple reports. I know L Linden Cole did produce some tuna um, over the weekend. And there's been yellowfin tuna still caught in the Wilmington and and scattered it's been slower um but the temperature is is warming so i hope things will in, you know improve um pretty quickly here now that we're in july what really keep an eye on is there an, a smaller clockwise rotating eddy that's south of block canyon and east of hudson canyon this this is what's going to be coming down the pipe here in the next few days to a week and to see if this water this is bluer warmer water oh it's probably 70 um three seventy four and and blue and it's going to be coming down hopefully close to the canyons here in a, in a week or so closer uh there's some another some rotation up here off of atlantis canyons bringing some water up some warmer, bluer water up. Obviously, there's an eddy way offshore here. What you'll see in the ocean color chlorophyll image is it's really interesting. There's some, there's some um, flow in this direction of warmer, bluer water that, that should be good for feeding some fish into the canyons here later this week, hopefully. But really, we're, you know, we're still keeping an eye on this big, warm core Gulf Stream eddy that is now looks like it's starting to interact with the Gulf Stream, put, pulling up some, some newer water. And the conditions are just gonna continue to get really good here. Um, now oceanographer, Ladonia, soon to be hydrographer. And then this is, you know, obviously this is gonna keep on moving to the west. Down south, we have some clouds offshore, way offshore, but down south, we have a nice, bluer warm filament that pushed up and in off of, off of Oregon Inlet area 
This is some nice water that could be good for inshore mahi tuna for you guys. You don't have to go too far offshore. Um, and I guess that's about it for sea surface temperature. What we do, you can see um, the, in ocean color chlorophyll imagery, the water is starting to clear up a little bit. Still a lot of green water inshore, but we have some bluer water come in. Like you see this, this signal, this, this blue water that's coming in, um, kind of residual from the Gulf Stream. This will be decent for some, you know, some better chances, I think, or improved chances in the Baltimore Canyon, and then this stuff starts going down toward Washington. And this eddy, here's that eddy here. You can see this will progress this way and hopefully be some better for Tom's Canyon uh, and maybe Hudson later this week. And then you get, have this dominating eddy, clockwise eddy, eddy that's, that's way to the east still, but it's coming, it's coming westward, so stay tuned to that. We got some nice, a little bit warmer water, 72, 73, up off Atlantis Canyon. And I guess that's about it. You can see that signal, that nice blue water off of North Carolina here. That's not too far offshore. It'd be interesting to see how much fish is in that water there. So I guess have a great week and we will get back with you next week and talk to you soon. Bye.